Bob Jones Stadium for the big game here today between the home team, South Melbourne, against the visiting Melbourne Knights uh, team. Both teams, of course, recording great wins last round of this year's Premier League. South defeating Preston by seven goals to one and Melbourne Knights, after a great performance, defeating the Oakley Cannons by one goal to nil. But let's uh, go now to the lineups so for South Melbourne. We have Tommy Tomic in goals, Shane Nunez, Rodri Payne, Stephen O'Dor, Vaughan Coveney, Joseph Youssef, Rama Tavsasioglu, Fernando de Moraes, Steven Markella, Goran Zoric and Sebastian Petrovic, the starting 11 for Michael Mihalakopoulos' side. And for the Melbourne Knights, uh, Savas Ozdemir in goals, Jamie Cumming, John Fitzgerald, Matthew Grabesa, James Sherman, Mate Dugancic, Joshua Gronwald, Greg Draper, Dimitri Hadzimuratis, Craig Evan, Alex Kiradzoglu, and on the substitute bench is Cliff Henry, Liam Janelle, Melvin Beckett, and Retas Franchitz. Let's go now straight into the action here at the Bob Jan Stadium. A great afternoon for soccer as we see both teams preparing for a very important game in terms of uh, the points. Uh, South Melbourne last uh, week is showing a lot of plurality in their attacking form and of course the Melbourne Knights after a tough game beating the Oakley Cannons by one goal to nil. And it will be the visitors kicking off and for those just tuned in to the Victoria Football Show, the Melbourne Knights in the familiar red tops and South Melbourne with the blue jerseys and the white shorts. And it's the first move for South, cleared away there by the Melbourne Knights defence. And South Melbourne last week showing a lot of form, especially in front of goals against Preston. But it will be a different story here against the Melbourne Knights, a much more composed side and last year's finalists with uh, three points so far sitting on fourth spot in the Victorian Premier League's ladder. And of course, a very interesting game with uh, both teams in the past having to share a lot of glory days and very exciting games between them. And South Melbourne trying to create the first openings in the Melbourne Knights defence and the free kick there awarded to the Knights with uh, Savas Ozdemir, a long kick down towards the South Melbourne half. <coughs> and the ball up and down, no team yet having the ascendancy of play. Uh, South Melbourne drawing from this uh, left hand side, referee on the spot there awarding the free kick. Well, that player there, Goran Zoric, who was a star last week for South Melbourne, scoring four against uh, the Preston Lions. Let's see what he can do against the Melbourne Knights defences today. As the Melbourne Knights now, positive move by the Knights. And the first shot of the game there, good save for Tomic. As Melbourne Knights, a long way, but the ball into the safe hands of Tommy Tomic. The first real threat in the game coming from the visitors. A healthy crowd here at the Bob Jane Stadium. Nearly 2,000 people attending this game. All, of course, are situated in the main grandstand, opposite to the one that you're seeing on your screens. As the Melbourne Knights, long free kick played right into the heart, but right into the arms again of the tall figure of Tommy Tomic. Playing the ball straight away to his defenders. But the long ball there from Tafseoglu. Not finding his uh, strikers. So 0-0 here at the Bob Jane Stadium. Round four of the Victorian Premier League. Both teams sitting on equal points at the moment. And another free kick there awarded by the referee. Who again, very close. As uh, Rama was a player. inflicting the free kick on John Fitzgerald of the Melbourne Knights who appears 
to be ready to take this free kick for his uh, teammates. And let's see what the Melbourne Knights can come up with as the Bulls played again into the South Melbourne defence but unable to get a touch uh, the Melbourne Knights strikers there. A good free kick though from Fitzgerald. And the ball just going past both defender and striker. And the Melbourne Knights looking a bit more attacking in this half. Again, a very important clearance there from the South Melbourne defence as the ball was played in dangerously from the, that left-hand side. It will be the first corner of the game to the Melbourne Knights. Taking out the front post, the appeals there for a handball, but the ball is still with the Knights on the left-hand side with uh, Dimitri Hadzimuradis, one of the new signings of the Melbourne Knights and a very talented youngster he is. As Tommy Tomic plays the ball all the way into the Melbourne Knights half and South Melbourne unable yet to create anything dangerous up front a very tight Melbourne Knights defence though as uh, South Melbourne now come away the shot there blocked and let's see what Coveney can do and the shot there missing the target completely he was under pressure he took it quickly and the ball no troubles there for Savas Ozdemir uh, South Melbourne clear with the ball once more a lot of uh, hard contests in the middle of the park. And another free kick awarded to the Melbourne Knights. They seem to be getting a lot more share of the free kicks in this first half. Played once more right into the penalty spot there. But no troubles once more for Tommy Tomic. As there were four blue shirts there protecting their keeper. The Knights now, but it's uh, Odor trying to push the ball forward. A lot of scrappy play down that uh, right-hand side as the Melbourne Knights attacking once more now, pushing forward with uh, Joshua Gronwell. A good ball there for Hadzimuradis to chase. And the ball running out of play appeals there for another free kick, but the referee giving the goal kick to South Melbourne. Tomic. With yet another clearance from his half. And Zorich uh, there just putting a bit more force into that tackle. And it seems to be that South Melbourne yet unable to find the touch that they did last week. A shot there on the turn. Not a bad attempt by Alex Kiradzoglu. But the ball not finding the target. There he is. Very experienced player for the Melbourne Knights. Turning, try that volley. But no trouble there for Tommy Tomic. And we still have a scoreline of 0-0 here at the Bob Jones Stadium. Round four of this year's Victorian Premier League. Where we have the surprise package so far. The Dandenong Thunder. Really making an impression in these opening rounds. But it's here between South Melbourne and the Knights. The battle of two of the greats of Australian soccer. Demarais now for South Melbourne. Playing them all in the middle of the park. A lot more positive and patient build-up for South Melbourne. The long ball once more intended to have for Zorich. And there he is. But he's very closely marked. Zorich as uh, South Melbourne. Good move this one by South. A push there on uh, Demarais. But the referee saying he's play on. Not the best of clearances for South Melbourne, allowing Gromwell to push forward once more for the Melbourne Knights. It looks promising. Tries to take the shot himself. Not enough power, nor direction in the shot by Joshua Gromwell. A good run, though. He's been one of the workhorses, pardon me, of this Melbourne Knights side this year. South Melbourne now. Can they do anything in this counter-attack? Again, broken down at the edge of the 18-yard box where it seems